And now let's head down to the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 24. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Davis takes the give. Tackled after a decent pickup. Second down, four yards to go. Ball on the 30. Quick pass. And he's taken down at the 40. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And a quick throw. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Well, that's a big game there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. From the 44-yard line, first down. He's scrambling. That's a great tackle at the 46. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. From the 46-yard line, second down. Gets out to around the 35. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Well, they didn't need much, so give it up to the defense for reading that one and making a sensational stop to keep them short of the first down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He'll get the call again. Nice run to the outside. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Here's the eighth play of the series. Scrambling around, and he's going to be sacked. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They go back to him on a quick throw. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Inside handoff. Makes it out to about the 19. And he just made it past the first down line. Boy, big play there, Brad, on third down. Good job of running the football there. It's the 11th play of the drive. The 10. Touchdown, Wildcats. 
well-designed play to get the half back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11-play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Decides to slide. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Brought down around the 40-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 39. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. snags that one tackle made at the 30 first and 10 ball on the 30 yard line And down he goes around the 27-yard line. Looking for his man, incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. And this play is number eight on the drive. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14. Fires out to his receiver. Touchdown, Bulldogs! That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And down he goes at the 26. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on the 29-yard line. 
Here comes the pressure, and they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Barry is waiting for the snap. And he's hammered down. You hope that a lane or two will open up and give you some space to work with. But that never happened on this kick. A long field didn't bother them the last time out, and that's how they'll set up for this drive. Let's see what they do here. Beck with the play fake. Going deep. Can't pull it in. Second and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. Thorson is the putter. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He airs it out. It's caught to the 20, to the 10. Tackle at about the 5-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. So now it's first and goal after the big pass play. He scrambles, slides down to the ground. Touchdown, Kentucky! And that's his second touchdown of the day. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And he adds the extra point. Kentucky is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's tackled at the 22. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Wow, what a first quarter we had. That was an offensive explosion. 14-7, Kentucky. 
And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. Over the middle to his tailback. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Robinson is back deep to return. He's at midfield. Oh, man, he took him down hard. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Kentucky is up a score. He makes it to the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Now he tries to buy some time. The ball pops free. He picks it up. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Up the middle for a nice game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they get nice yardage on that run. Let's it go. And it falls incomplete. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Pitches it, and he's hitting the backfield. He's under some heat. Thorson to punt. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 32-yard line. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. And he is drilled at the 40. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Kentucky is up by a touchdown. Got a receiver and he dropped it.
Makes it out to about the 50. From midfield, it's first down. Caught with room to work. He's still going. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. He's taken down at the 35. From the 35 yard line. First down. Play action here. He's going to scramble. He decides to run with it. Brought down around the 15 yard line. under pressure and they get the sack but the defense is fired up responding and reacting to that sack not only do they get the quarterback but they hit him and hit him hard I think that can really create some confidence for this defense the next time this quarterback drops back to throw you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him here's the eighth play of the series Kentucky is up seven he lets it fly Play action pass, touchdown! And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 68-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Gets to about the 24-yard line. It's second and nine. Ball on the 24-yard line. Pitch play here. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He gets hit out of bounds at the 31. Robinson is back awaiting the punt. Tackle at the 38-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Nice run there. Davis picks up about seven yards on the run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll bring him down at the 47. That 
That's a great tackle at the 36-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. From the 37 yard line. Second down. Steps out of bounds at the 27 yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the call on the field stands. Across the middle, tight end's got it. Tackle made at the 11-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. On the ground, inside, and he's tackled after positive yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. Kentucky's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Now he's scrambling. Dives, and he's down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. It's the 11th play of the drive. Looks to the end zone. Interception. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. From their own 20-yard line, first down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Man open, incomplete. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Wildcats, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Thorson awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. So at the end of the half, the Wildcats lead 21-7.
We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. All week long when I would think about this game, I thought that we were going to have a nip and tuck affair from start to finish. Now you look up, the margin is a couple of possessions, a couple of scores. It's a great opportunity for this team to come out in the second half and put this thing away. Yeah, you knew it was going to be a close game, and you feel fortunate to be on the right side of making some big plays. And you don't necessarily know, Reese, if that's going to happen in the second half. So you got to take advantage of this lead. Make sure that you don't squander. Make sure you don't make mistakes in the second half. But if you're looking at it right now, you're going, I'm pretty excited. I'm up two scores, and everything's going in the right direction. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws a laser across the middle. Tackle at the 37-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. He airs it out. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Second and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. You know, I talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL, and they all talk about the execution of the play action. And all of them talk about the good ones, about taking their time and really working to sell the play action and sell the fake. If you don't take the time as a quarterback to really sell the fake, it's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position. But when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there, that's when it's more effective. It can open up the big plays. Four, three, three. Beck on play action. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. He guns it. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. It's first and ten. Ball on the 14. Play action. Thank <laughs> you. 
Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Third and 14. Ball on their own nine. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. Barry is waiting for the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Smith takes it at the 49, and he just got stood up right there. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Second down and five. Ball on the 34. He's taken down around the 22-yard line. Slings it. He's tackled at the 16. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. They go to the left for a nice game. They're at the three. It's second down. They're crowding the line. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback for Georgia. Their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. Good pass rush by these guys today. They'll be looking to make more big plays here and keep this a one-possession game. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Kentucky is up by a touchdown. He's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 37. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Scrambling around. Good tackle there in space. release tight end incomplete you know a new trend that we've seen the last couple years in college football is finding ways to get the big strong athletic tight end the football in space I love the design of the play by the play caller the problem is the quarterback needs to throw the ball more accurately Aaron and out long 
Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Got some open field. Nice run, and he's brought down. The defense has got to be thinking, if they've already forced a red zone turnover, maybe they can do it again right here. Slings it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Kentucky is up a score. Just throws this one away. Kentucky can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Brought down at about the 41. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. Throws it in a hurry. Inside the 30. The 10. And he will score. The wideout here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he hits the PAT. It was a quick three-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The score now, 24-21. Across the 30. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. Well, the defense held them to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. Kentucky is up by three. They'll bring him down at about the 49. From their own 49-yard line. First down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. He scrambled. Very good tackle in space. 
They're about four yards away here on third down. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. He really got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Got an opening. Makes it out to about the 30. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 30. And down he goes around the 40-yard line. This has been a fun one if you like offense. The shootout continues as we head to the fourth. Kentucky leads it 24-21. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. He's got it out to his tight end, and he's tackled at the 40-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. And he's level at the 32. Backward pass. That's a fumble. Picks up the fumble. And they make the stop at the 39-yard line. Third and long here with a vital drive in the fourth quarter, and they need a conversion. He gets hit out of bounds at the 32-yard line. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he got it. And with that field goal, we are all tied up. Yeah, well, that was a clutch field goal, without a doubt. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. And they get nice yardage on that run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. tries to buy some time. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play.
tackled after a decent pickup. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 42-yard line. He's on the run. Tackle at the 39. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. He's going to try and scramble, and he tackles him hard at the 40. Here's the eighth play of the series. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. They run for it, and a major collision. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. And he's tackled after positive yardage. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 24. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Out of bounds at about the 29 yard line. Robinson will be the return man. Makes it out to maybe the 40 yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. They hit him in the backfield. It's second down now. 13 to go. Ball on the 37. Washed out, and he's going to get sacked. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 45. Just under three to go in regulation. He fields it at the 17. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. 
we might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Got the corner. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And they push him out at the 36-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. A little over a minute in the game. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. Under heavy pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver. Just an unbelievable stop. It's been an unbelievable game. Tied up here this late. I think we're going for an extra stanza or two, and I can't wait. Late in the fourth quarter, tie football game. An important game for both these teams, and this is where you find out who your leaders are. And he can't get away from the pressure. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Throws out and a leaping interception by the corner. And he is drilled at the 12-yard line. It was time for somebody to step up and make a play. And boy, did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 12. Up the middle for a nice game. Georgia's going to take their first time out of the half. The kick is away, and it is good. If they field the kick here, a touchdown return is their only chance at victory. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. 
And he's taken down at the 29. A great game here today in a tight one. 27-24, Georgia. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports.